Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Um, as the, obviously, as you could tell, it is my match preview for the Premier uh, Premier League Week 11. Some facts you may not know, or you may know, but I just like to give you my bit of information. As I've said in the week nine, when I've done this for the first time, I don't actually make, I don't actually do this bit until I've done my predictions. So my predictions are what I actually do think and not on statistics but for, for you guys that want to know about this information I'll do it for you now so guys you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so I'm going to start off with Bournemouth first Man United as you'll be able to tell behind me that um, Bournemouth have not beaten uh, Manchester United since 2015 and Man United have won four out of the last five games um, now, as I said, if you watch my prediction video, which will be in the playlist down below, it's not very neat, I'll admit. I'll try and uh, smarten it up for next week's. Um, you know, you know what I'm thinking. Um, so, I think it's going to be an interesting game after reading this bit of uh, information. The next game I'm going to talk to you about is Cardiff versus Le uh, Leicester. Now, not sure if this game's going to get postponed yet because of what happened up at Leicester this weekend. Uh, yeah, this Saturday just gone. Um, you know, it's a very sad story, but as as it stands, it's still going ahead. So this is a little bit of information for that. Even if this game gets postponed and rescheduled, then obviously this is a bit of information for that anyway. So uh, Leicester have not beaten Cardiff away from home since 2010. Um, now, looking at the teams, now, as I said, if you watch my Premier League prediction video, you know what I'm thinking. You know, but as I said, it's sometimes a bit of uh, important information and uh, interesting information, the way that I was trying to think of. Excuse me. Uh, Everton versus Brighton. Brighton have never beaten Everton away from home. Uh, my local town, up at Everton, um, you know, never actually beaten them up there. Uh, I found that a bit strange when I found that bit of information out, but I reckon it's going to be an interesting game. Um, Newcastle versus Watford. Watford have never beaten Newcastle have never beaten Watford in the last five games. Last time Newcastle. One against Watford was in 2010. Now Newcastle are low in confidence, very low. So I'm not going to keep on saying it, but it's in my Premier League predictions what I think. But yet again, you can sort of tell the way I possibly think if you watch my uh, predictions week in week out. And obviously, if you do, then you might have already seen my predictions for this week. Um, the next game is West Ham versus Burnley. West Ham have never beaten Burnley since 2016. Can they do it this time round? Um, you know, I think it is possible. Burnley's low in confidence, but it's going to be an, another interesting game. A lot of interesting games for this weekend, uh, both sides of the table. Um, the next one, uh, Arsenal versus Liverpool. Arsenal have never beaten Liverpool since 2015. Um, you know, uh, Arsenal under Unai Emery, Klopp for Liverpool. Um, I think it's going to be a cracking game. Uh, you know, I'll, I do reckon there's three points to a certain team, but as I said, you have to watch my Premier League predictions to find that one out. Um, but as I called it, game of the weekend. Um, the next one is Wolves versus Tottenham. Wolves have never beaten Tottenham since February 2010. Now Tottenham did lose to Man City uh, at Wembley. Marvez goal, you know, some people sound the state of the pitch, but most people abroad, if you're really into your football, especially the likes of Argentina, Spain, they'll play on sand or some sort of service like that. Um, you know, I don't like seeing a pitch used as a bit of an excuse. 
if it was a perfect pitch for Man City might score more so you know that's something to think about Tottenham fans um, Man City versus Southampton is the next one last time Southampton won away to Man City was uh, April 17th 2004 yet again Southampton very long confidence and as I've just said Man City beat Tottenham this weekend um, you know Mahrez Sterling, De Guayna, I'm looking forward to seeing him come back. Um, you know, it's got to be, I'll, as I said, you want to know what I'm actually thinking, or what I do think, I should say. Um, then watch my Premier League predictions. I don't want to give too much around this video. So, as I said, if you want to know what I'm thinking, then go over to my Premier League predictions video, which is down in the playlist below, which I've already mentioned. Um, the next game, Chelsea versus Crystal Palace. Um, last time these two played in November, Chelsea won 3 1, and that's back in 1992. Um, a long time, 20 odd years gone since then. Will Palace manage to get a win at St Stamford Bridge, or will Lightning strike twice for Chelsea? Um, it's going to be a very interesting game, a London derby. Um, so that is going to be another interesting game. And the last game for this weekend, Huddersfield versus Fulham. Now the last time Huddersfield beat Fulham was in 1993, September 1993. So you know, well over 20 years now. Well, well now, as I've already said, um, I'm expecting a bit of a dodgy game um, if you want to know what I think of the scores as well that's all on my Premier League prediction video this is just my bit of information that you fans might want to know um, I know some people are sceptic like if I do a certain thing it turn the result so this is why I do this video um, guys what I remember put your Premier League predictions down below I like to know what you think uh, but guys, anyway, this is my end of my match preview for uh, the Premier League games for this weekend. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.